This morning, a Detroit mom plans to file suit against City Council President Charles Pugh. This surrounds Pugh's relationship with her son. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live with more on what is going on with this story, Kim. You know what, I'm live at Detroit City Hall, where as soon as today, Detroit's emergency manager is expected to issue an order that would take away City Council President Charles Pugh's pay and authority because he hasn't been showing up to work. And many are asking whether the reason he isn't showing up is this lawsuit. You didn't tell me any of these things. Nothing. This is the mom of an 18 year old Frederick Douglass Academy student on the phone with her son's mentor, City Council President Charles Pugh. She's upset that Pugh bought her son gifts, gave him cash, and took him out of school and met with him without her permission. I just found out today, basically, after I talked to you yesterday, that you had met my son at the corner store. She says she's suing. According to her lawyers, this started back in December. They say they have and showed us a stack of text messages between Pew and the young man who was 17 when the mentoring started. They are not saying anything sexual happened at this point, but say they are inappropriate text messages. We are alleging that Mr. Pew engaged in some inappropriate behavior with our client. When the mom found out about the inappropriate contact between Mr. Pew and her son, she reached out for him to stop for him to stop deceit, for him to stop all contacts with her son. And then he began to contact her and harass her. For many days now, Pew has not been seen. He deleted his Facebook and Twitter accounts. The lawyers say this will be a civil suit for now. Now, I used to work with Charles Pugh at another station, and when I was a news intern, he mentored me. He often spoke about mentoring young people and how it meant a lot to him, how he knew about overcoming obstacles because he was a victim of violence. His mother was murdered when he was young. As for what he has to say about this, he agreed to give 7 Action News an interview and then abruptly canceled. So we're still waiting to learn his side of the story. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.